Wow. Sorry, man, that was uh Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace. One oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. Thank I you. Need a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Yeah, I found another workbench already. Thank you. And I already slept in another bed of yours too. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. I won't. I won't. Do I now have to escort you back? I thought you had raw materials. Wait! Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chased me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. I can imagine why they would not like an engineer. <laughs> nice music, by the way. Oont, oont. Okay, why don't we make a few more bullets then? Because I feel really not good about how many bullets I have. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too. <laughs> That's the maximum amount of bullets I can have. Oh, that's- oh, that's the pistol. Did it just suddenly start raining again? You come across a pack of them, or just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. Oh, okay. Ooh, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Yeah, no kidding. Let me just turn off the lights first. Women are always yes. Some bandits came here to shoot. C to choose cocktail. Villagers say people started going missing when the bandits come. Now you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. Something about a big gigantic fish somewhere? Well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead, I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at the train. Okay, cool, thanks, man. Oh, by the way, your bed. I can heal my health here, right? For free. Even though it's still morning right now. I guess we can take another nap until... Next morning? Oh, that's a full sleep. That's not even a nap anymore. I don't think we've really tried walking around during nighttime yet. I feel like I like daytime better, though, because I can see stuff around me. But I think daytime would probably mean that things around me can see me easier. So it's probably harder to do stealth. I think I'm ready, Crest. I feel like I still don't feel good about the amount of bullets I have, but I don't think we can make more. Oh, I have 30 now! That means I can make another batch of... Assault Rifle Ammo? Yeah, 30... Screws, wrenches, and 10 chemicals. Okay, I feel a little bit better about that. Steel balls? We only got 7 right now, but... What? Check out oh. those antennas on 200 meters from the Aurora. She said she saw something there. The moon? What the hell? And what did you all do? Ardium, get there on the double. Get your act together, people. There may be no NATO troops walking around, but it still doesn't mean you can act like a bunch of tourists. Miller over and out. 
Anna! Anna's a sniper! She shouldn't be acting independently. If she gets found out, that's gonna be really bad. Do they mean this antenna tower? Hmm. Oh my god, what is she doing? Oh, it's that place that we were at. That military installation place. Okay. Well, just looking around, I don't really see Anna anywhere, but that's probably something we'll have to get closer to actually see. Maybe they're talking about this tower. I'm kind of torn though, because I want to take a look around other places, because there's so much on the map here. But if Anna's gonna be in trouble... Find Anna. Anna's gone off the grid. I know she can stand up for herself better than most of us, and I might be worrying over nothing, but I can't just continue as nothing happened when she might be in trouble. Of course, the local people and animals aren't much of a threat, but still... Are you sure about that? We made it out of the church okay, but those people were definitely trying to kill us, pretty much. Hmm. I haven't even looked around at the scrapyard here. Yeah, earlier we just kinda ran straight up to the crane. Holy crap though, there's so many people around here. Whoa. This guy seems like he might have some abs of steel. <laughs> I can still aim while I'm doing this. Huh. <sighs> I'm just so worried we're gonna run out of ammo and resources. The more we look around, the bigger chance that's gonna happen, right? It's kind of um, a gamble, I guess, because looking around might get us more supplies, but it can also make us waste more supplies. One thing that I haven't really tried using at all still is the, um, the knives and the cans, as well as now the Molotov cocktails. The knives previously were basically a one-hit kill during stealth. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but we should probably try it out. Sometime. I feel like there's so many creepy noises around here. In the water? <gasps> oh. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh my god. Is that the Tsarfish? Well, as long as we don't go near the water here, it should be okay, right? There's another one. Oh, that's a shrimp. Okay, well, we don't have to mess with it. No. <laughs> Out of curiosity. Uh, is that a place we'll ever have to go to? Maybe, maybe not. I remember there was a boat right here, right? Earlier we saw it. But um, let's just get out of here first, maybe. Oh, I'm kind of um. A little bit stuck. I'm stuck. Is there something on my head? The roof. Uh oh. Here we go. I'm not sure if there is a point in crouching right now because it's daytime anyway. <laughs> At least if we're not sprinting, they can't hear us. Hey! And we can also get it back. We can craft new ones, but of course, if we can get it back, that would be ideal. And we're back in this building again. Whoa! 
It's a lot of guys. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, frick. Okay. Through all my knives. One of them hit the frame. Where'd it go? Ugh. Hey, one knife went missing. I think some of them disappear periodically, right? It's not that I can't find it. It's just that they don't want to give it to me unlimited. We'll have to be careful about that then. Oh! We can go straight back, but... I think I want to have a look around here first. Oh! Poor thing. We saw so many people here earlier. Should be careful. I hear things. No, it's the fish. It's probably the fish. When I was ziplining down, I thought I saw something green over on the side. One more guy there. Oh, there's actually a lot of people. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what? Oh! <gasps> Wait. I thought he was dead! That took more than one hit. <gasps> I let my guard down. Hold on. Uh... Maybe we can bottleneck them here. If they all come up? How far do they follow me? I've only got two knives now. That knife got lodged in that guy's body. Oh my god, I completely let my guard down thinking he would die for sure in one hit. But that wasn't the case at all. <laughs> Can I get you from the window? Maybe, but it would require me shooting through the window, which would make noise, right? If I can use a knife, I'd prefer that. Dude, that guy's being really noisy in the back now. Hey, I want my- Whoa. Oh, was he gonna eat the rabbit? Maybe. That guy that got up. He... Um... I've got two knives on me right now. Hold on. I can get both of those guys. But maybe not anyone else. Are you still here? Thank you. This guy looks like he might be a bit buffer than the other ones. Please and thank you. Oh god. Oh my god. It seems like when they're aggroed, it'll take a little bit more. Okay. These guys aren't that bad. Feel like there should be more around here. You have my knives! Give them back! Let's try not to waste bullets if we don't have to. There's a big gigantic warehouse here. Ooh. 
Whoa. Oh yeah, that's what I saw from the zipline. Uh, hold on though. Let me look around on the surface first. Oh! There's one more guy. Yes. Are there more inside? I definitely should be using the eyes more often though. They're so helpful. Ah, oh, more dead people. And a shotgun. Oh, I really want a shotgun, but I don't know if I want to give up... Well, for sure, I'm not gonna give up the Kalash. But I'd have to give up my revolver. Or the T-Car rifle, right? I don't know if I want to do that either. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, it made me drop my assault rifle instead. Oh. Can I only exchange it for the first two? Like this? Well, I suppose I can give the shotgun a try for a little bit. Although this means that we'll be losing a silenced weapon. There's a lot of places around here. I feel like if things go badly though, the shotgun would be better at protecting myself. If we're looking for something silenced for stealth, then maybe just the knives are good enough. There's actually a lot going on here. Um... Guess I'll check this first. Oh, wow. Crest made sure that no zombies could get through. Some of them tried. But they didn't make it. It's pretty smart. I guess the guy was living here the whole time, but I wonder what he did for food and stuff. Did he come down from the tower every so often? Hello? Oh god. You have a shotgun too. Hold on. I didn't want to pick it up. Yeah, I'll have that. But I want your... I want your stuff. Mm-hmm. That's the same gun I have right now. The a shot. Back in the safe house, I picked up the double barrel, right? So I can probably just attach it right now. Yeah? And then... Hunting stock? Red laser? Made from a cheap laser pointer that was heavily modified to increase power output at the cost of reliability. Sure, why not? Yeah, the double barrel is really important, because now we can have two shots per... load. Generally, I feel like if we don't hear noises around here, Maybe it's okay to walk around without squatting all the time. Nothing? Okay. Nope. Just a bunch of wrecked boats and all. What's this? Oh. What did I stumble upon? 
Is there some kind of a den here? Whoa, this seems like a monster has been here. I think we should be ready just in case. Ugh. Oh. I can pick that up. See, when we're lucky, we find spots like these where we get lots of supplies. But when we're unlucky, then we run into a horde of Nazaluses and they end up taking all of my bullets. Just a bunch of supplies here. Well, thank you. Thank you. Let's get out of here now. I don't want to chance it. <laughs> Back over on this side. In the warehouse, there was a ladder. It seems like this whole place might have an entire underground portion. Yeah, like here. Whoa. There was a guy there, right? Yeah! You're standing right there. Nothing here? Well, I don't have a revolver anymore. So if we want to do the silenced, we gotta get a little bit closer. I wonder if I can put the silencer on my assault rifle instead. Because if we can, I feel like maybe I want to do that. Oh no, it's not... I only get a standard barrel or short barrel and flash suppressor. Flash suppressor! Is that the same thing as a normal suppressor? Does it just suppress the flash? Guess I can try it out. Oh, but the damage decreases. Maybe not then. But generally, if you're gonna put a suppressor on the weapon, the damage is always gonna decrease, right? Holy crap. Some of these provide pretty good illumination. And when we stand next to it, it doesn't count as being visible. So maybe I should leave some of them alone. There's like four here. Shoot. Oh, frick. Oh! Did he just throw something at me? Oh my god. Yikes. I think these guys are relatively weak, but still. Oh. <sighs> Gotta wear a mask. It's kind of poisony here. I just want my knives back, that's all. I'm missing one. Hmm. Okay, good. How are we doing on ammo? Alright. And there's a limit to each gun too, so it's not like... That probably goes back to what we saw earlier, right? There is a limit to the ammo stack, so it's not like you can just make a whole bunch even if you have all the materials needed. Plus, the bigger issue is that we can't make ammo on the fly. So in between safe houses, we still have to be very careful. <laughs> Th 
these guys are a lot weaker than... Oh! I do have to charge my flashlight. Yeah, these guys seem to be weaker than the Nasalises, though. Or maybe I was panicking a lot before. Because <laughs> it feels like this time, I didn't use as many bullets. I guess I lost a knife. Oh! Thank God. Someone's around here. I think this is... Oh, this is the spot we saw earlier, I think. There's a guy there. Oh! Oh! Let's, let's ignore the surface for now. Did I hear a gunshot? That doesn't sound good. Already? <laughs> Whoa, why is that? That's moving. And we gotta kick down the door too. Is it trying to tell me that the flower is poisonous? It was kind of like waving around and stuff earlier. Ugh. Dude, what the heck is happening over there? Oh my god. Whoa. Can I maybe throw a knife at it? Oh, I can just take it! Okay. That's even better. The main thing we have to be careful about is not touching them directly. Oh! Oh, I think I got a bit too close that time. Got a bit hurt. If we can harvest it though, we should definitely try our best too. The more chemicals, the better. I guess the noise wasn't coming from here. Maybe it was the fish again. Faded note. Daria, you were right. They really do grow at an anomalously fast rate. I just identified two of the newborn litter we ring last year, and they are adolescent now. This is amazing. Pack the recorder and the batteries. We're setting up shop here. It's a perfect observation spot. By the way, while you're at it, give Mikal a rabies shot. He got bitten by one. Insists that it's nothing serious, but just in case. Lucky I persuaded him to go fetch the equipment and bring you. I'll be waiting here. Hmm? Litter? Were they growing the saluses here or something? Adolescent? What is this place anyway? It's an underground place, but what is this for? Some kind of a lab? Oh, I think we might have to open it from the other side. Here we go. This goes outside. Where are we? It's weird, huh? Getting back to the surface, but now my default action is to take off the gas mask. We're back here. 
Okay. This area is actually a lot bigger than it seems. Especially because when I first came here, I beelined for Crest. But there's a underground portion, a surface portion. Hold on. Dead body here. Ugh. That symbol. I wonder if it's the sign of the... Um, the cult. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just about done this spot here. Not that there was ever a question mark here to begin with. But we found a lot of stuff actually, surprisingly, and it's going okay. But we should probably get back to Anna soon. We don't know if she's doing okay or not. Hello. Yeah. Maybe it's time to get out of here now, before we get killed. I especially want to go back to that military installation site because there is a safe house there, right? Which means we can get some free healing. Definitely beats using a medkit, especially when supplies are tight. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. I feel like there's always all sorts of noises coming from all over the place. It's scary. By the way, I think I was looking at the compass wrong earlier. If I look at it now... Yeah, there's a little, there's a little red arrow. I thought the big green thing on the opposite side was the direction, but nope. Yeah, I'm being really quiet right now, but I don't know if this even helps because I'm still completely visible during the day. <laughs> no. Did he see me? No, no. No. There's a safe house! Hold on, hold on. This area just has a lot of guys around everywhere. Come on. Huh. Okay, we made it back. Oh, I was told that drinking water is how you heal without changing the time of day. So we don't always have to sleep every time. Okay. Apparently we're right on top of the area. Just gotta be around here somewhere. Was this here before? Did I just not see it? Oh! 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 I found you. Artyom? What were you doing? I heard you call me. It was so great there. She hallucinating? But I heard you and couldn't leave you. <coughs> mm. 
my gosh. Okay, you stay here. I'll deal with whatever we gotta deal with. There's a military bunker thing here. If we want to get out, we have to turn the wheel. Is, I think, my understanding here. Hang in there, okay? You stay here, don't do anything. Why did she come here to begin with, though? Because she's saying she heard me, but obviously I wasn't anywhere near her. It's locked. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's people down here, at least. This place looks really radioactive, though. Oh! Oh my god! <gasps> Please stop. Exit. Should I be turning these on? Oh. Okay. I mean, the only reason why I wouldn't want to turn on the lights is because of stealth. But if there's not going to be people down here... Another Kalash? Thank you. Yeah, it seems like some kind of a bunker. Waterlogged note. What are they even thinking, just bringing all this shit here? It's gotta be disposed of properly. Fucking crooks in the disposal. Splitting the funds with the generals, while we get to park our asses on decades-old shit. I wonder if it gets worse or better when it expires, and which would be better for us. The barrels sure look like they could start leaking any moment now. We'll need to requisition a spare protective suit. Hmm. Disposal? Like nuclear weapons? So this might be from 20 years ago, then. From around the time of the First War. Definitely doesn't seem like it's been used recently. Was Anna breathing all this stuff in? The whole time, she didn't have a mask on. That's not good. This rabbit looks really unnatural. No? Oh, we gotta be a little bit careful about the time. How much time do we have overall? 22 minutes. Should be okay. Gotta go around here. Don't want any spiders coming down on my face. Please and thank you. Oh. Whoa. If I hit that, that's gonna explode, right? Am I gonna regret this? I hear footsteps. Oh! There's a guy there. Okay, I'm not gonna take these for now then. I wanna be able to see. I 
want to look around more thoroughly. Shit. Shoot, okay. I'm gonna walk back for now. Gonna get me a bottleneck. I don't want to be attacked from all sides. God damn it, that guy was so close to me, but I still missed. Now they sound like they're all coming. Oh. I don't got any more knives. Okay, if I stay here, they can't come from behind me. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There's a lot of different rooms here. Hmm. Whoa, that seems really... not... safe. And we can't come back up, so let's leave that to later. Maybe it's a secret passageway, though, to get to wherever we need to go. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that on. Shit! Oh, he saw me. The one time I decide to turn on the lights. And it's a bad idea. Oh. There's so many little spots everywhere. I don't even know where to... Oh, I can't... No, I can't go through this one. Oh my god. Oh, that's where they come out of. Maybe it's infinite. I really want to look around, but it's so scary to have the lights on. Where are we now? God. Oh my god. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, we're back in this section again. We made one big circle. Okay. Want to try going down this hole then? Oh my god. <sighs> the really bad thing about fighting mutants is that what? Oh, it's just a little spot for you to have some light, I think. It's not an actual spot. Oh, man. <laughs> the bad thing about fighting these guys is that we can't get supplies off of them when they die. Which is why I'm really interested in fighting the bandits, because I think we'll be able to get a lot of supplies from them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh You see me already? Hold on, I'm gonna deal with a guy first. Can we get him from here? I just feel like pulling that lever is gonna make a lot of noise. Okay, I guess I'll try it now. Oh, it's gonna bring electricity here.
Is that a good thing? Because now they can see me. It might not be. Oh, but I think we need the electricity for opening up the doors. But you know what? We can probably clear the place and then come back and turn it on. How about that? I feel a little bit safer like that. There's some natural light seeping in from... Mm. Oh, you're joking me. You're joking me. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, that area just has light, naturally. Yeah, okay, you know what? I feel like we've made it far enough. Let's try turning on the lights. <sighs> Exit? Maybe I don't want to turn on all of them. Three knives. I don't know when I'm gonna use a Molotov cocktail. Maybe when there's a lot of them? Should probably start using them before we can't pick up any more. We're here, we made it. This door is locked. Let's get Anna out of here first. Artyom, hold on, we're coming for you. Oh! Uh, Anna, you came from the other side. Uh, God damn it. We have to tell the others that we found her. Guys! Where'd you guys come from? Don't tell Dad. He's gonna. It's good Artyom found me. Your dad knows already. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Oh, Anna, one day I will have a heart attack because of you. <laughs> you are getting detention once you are back. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, is that you? Thanks for helping find Anna. Now I want you to drag her butt here with extreme prejudice. Time to talk some sense into that brat. Hmm. Stepan's asking for some tool. Try to get the civilians on board. Everyone's gone nuts here. Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Okay. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge humanoid robots. All plastered with stars and stripes, with nuclear reactors up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. I'm being serious. What the hell? Okay, well, let me be serious, too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in, what, 20 years or so? 
A fence, some guard towers, patrols, buildings. Bases look like bases. Nothing like that around here. We have yet to see anything even remotely resembling one. But if we do, I'll be sure to go say hi. If I can still remember how to speak English. <laughs> All right, D don't be mad. Do you guys really believe you're gonna see any Americans here? I was hesitant at first, but now I think I'm the only American we're ever gonna see out here. <laughs> well, that's fine by me, since we can always talk things out with you, Sam. <laughs> you know, I feel like this was an odd little mission, so I'm trying to think of what sort of plot significance this could have. That thing up there, is that a US flag or did Sam say it was a shirt? If it's a US flag, well, maybe it's like a US base, but it's more like a nuclear weapons dumping area, right? I don't think it's storage. If there's a current war, but this place has been abandoned for so long, is there really a war going on? We still haven't seen a single soldier around here besides our own people, and everything we know is just based on what Miller told us. I guess I'll see you guys all back at the train.